Hi, everybody. It is April the 30th, Thursday, last day of the month. Uh, so with May, it's going to be warmer mm -hmm. temperatures and people are going to want to get outside and it's going to make it even more difficult to uh, follow the rules of physical distancing and all of the things that our uh, health experts are telling us to do to flatten the curve. Uh, two of the probably most controversial uh, things going on right now in Innisfil that I hear most about are um, the closures of the boat launch and the fire ban. And here with me today, I've got uh, Chief Rayburn, uh, our, our fire chief, and Jason Edwood, who's the director of operations, to talk about the, the process behind uh, decision making, and not only during COVID times, but all the time to keep our residents safe and healthy. So I'll start with Chief Rayburn. Chief, uh, tell me a little bit about um, what's going on with the fire ban. Well, thank you, Mayor. Uh, it's a great opportunity to sit here and to come and join you and talk about the fire ban. Um, currently, the fire ban is still in place. So as of today, April 30th, the fire ban is still in place. Uh, I see now that we're getting some fairly decent rain today, so we're going to continue to monitor the situation, as we do always, and we will lift the fire ban as soon as it's safe to do so. Um, so should this rain uh, really soak the ground well and some of the green grass take over some of the dead stuff, we'll hopefully be able to lift it. I suggest that everyone uh, monitor the Town of Innisfil website for updates, as we will update uh, the status of the fire ban on that website, and all changes will be made there as soon as possible. Thanks, Chief. And Jason, uh, tell us about the boat launches. I'm getting people telling me, you know, why can't I just launch my boat? Because, you know, how, how better to social distance than be out in the middle of a lake? Uh, thank you, Mayor Dolan. And, and uh, again, I appreciate the opportunity to join you as well today. Uh, and those are questions that, frankly, we are hearing uh, loud and clear, and we, we understand people's uh, position. Uh, we are a lakeside community, and we all want to enjoy the benefits of, of Lake Simcoe. Um, the town is, of course, following the province's, the province of Ontario's emergency measures order uh, that uh, ordered communal or shared public uh, outdoor amenities to close, and that includes all of our, our boat ramps, boat, uh, both floating docks and fixed docks are all closed, uh, and including the parking lots um, in those areas that uh, traditionally are used for boat launches. Um, we know that these access points are, are really important to our residents. Uh, but they're equally as important to the visitors who tend to come to town and, and utilize those spaces and they're known gathering access points uh, and we're doing our part to ensure that we keep the distancing in place uh, and, and ensure safety for our residents, safety for our visitors uh, and doing our part to help flatten the curve. Thanks so much for that. I think it's really important uh, to for residents to know that we're working with all of the communities around Lake Simcoe. Uh, we're all trying to get that message out that not only um, people with cottages, but day trippers, there is nothing open here. And so the messaging uh, through different, I think they're looking at things like signs on the 400 and advertising on Toronto radio stations saying that our, our boat launches are closed, there is a fire ban, there's nothing to do here, please stay home. Uh, and hopefully that will help um, with the day tripping population, at least over the next little while, uh, while we get ourselves up and running and we get uh, to invite people to come back to our beautiful town again once things are back to normal. So I guess the message right now, folks, is short-term pain for long-term gain. Let's uh, keep this up for a little while longer and hopefully be able to uh, enjoy the summer um, that we love to do here in Innisfil. Thanks and have a good day. We'll talk tomorrow.